Week in Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction. The Prom Valley High School wrestling team will make their way to the, the Division 1A Southern Regional Meet this Friday in Boulder City to see which wrestlers will qualify for the state championship meet. This meet will consist of the teams in both the 1A Sunset Division and the 1A Sunrise Division, so Prom wrestlers will likely face opponents they haven't seen much of all season. Prom leads the 1A Sunset Division and leading the 1A Sunrise Division is Boulder City. Prump matched up against some Boulder City opponents at the beginning of the season in the Boulder City Duels Tournament where Faith Lutheran finished second, Prump finished third, and Boulder City finished fourth. Prump easily defeated Faith Lutheran in their matchup this season and is looking strong to lead the competition. The Prump Valley boys basketball team fell to Western High School last night at Prump Valley High School 51-35. The Prump Valley High School girls basketball team also fell to Western High School yesterday 38-34. Tomorrow, Bonanza High School will come to Pahrump Valley High School for a non-conference game. The girls start at 5 p.m. and the boys at 6.30 p.m. Bishop Gorman wide receiver and son of entertainer and rapper Snoop Dogg, Cordell Brodus, signed his letter of intent to UCLA on Tuesday on ESPNU. This means Snoop Dogg and his son are now rivals since Snoop Dogg has a love for USC. Cordell made it clear this decision was for himself and his future. Interesting news came out of the UFC as both contenders in the main event of UFC 183, Anderson Silva and Nick Diaz, tested positive in their pre-fight drug tests. Nick Diaz tested positive for marijuana and Anderson Silva tested po positive for two steroids. Silva defeated Diaz on Saturday by unanimous decision. After snapping his leg in a gruesome injury 13 months ago, no one expected Anderson Silva to be able to return. Now, Silva is denying allegations and looking to clear his name. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salmon with News 46.